cooking with Chef Garth, you need to bring your own fire extinguisher. For your eyelashes. <laughs> and, the, and the hair on your chest and your nose and your arms. Yes, I'm so concerned about all of those things We'll sit for this you. right here just in case we have another fire. This is a Texas sauce. We did Texas mushrooms from, yeah. from Kitchen Pride. A little bit of Texas Olive Ranch balsamic vinegar. Our favorite uh, dairy. Milking. Milking cream. Uh-huh. Okay, put that in. And then some Layla Farms, uh, Lucky Layla Farms butter. Mm -hmm. Some salt, some pepper. If you'll whisk that around, that's our sauce. That's simple. I think people get intimidated by sauces. It's that easy. Will that you was that really butter simple. In? You just got to make sure you're careful with that whiskey. That's the only thing you got to be worried about. I don't think it's much catching on fire as you doing a shot of it was the issue. <laughs> that's what makes it all the fun. Look at that. Yeah, so I incredible. am so proud. Ooh, the little bow on that side. They are impressed as okay. well as I am. This stuff could absolutely be saved. You can use that to uh, like garnish. put some garlic cloves in. You can use it to garlic, garnish, but you can also keep it uh, for a variety of other things. Even a salad dressing, once it starts to cool down, you've just got so much delicious flavor there. But that's so a great uh, idea. definitely hold on to that. Okay. That is so pretty. I'm so proud. Here are the potatoes, the Brussels sprouts, the sausage, and the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. The little bit of sausage. A little <laughs> bit of sausage. That's <laughs> the rest of it ended up on the ground. Thanks, Amy. Little bit of sausage. <laughs> okay, this what? is our. <laughs> Never mind. Probably wise. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. See, even the audience is super impressed. Hey, and then this the, the is the sauce here is starting to burn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's all done. We're just going to drizzle that around. Oh, wow. What a beautiful presentation. Can you imagine this on your Easter table? And you can do this. Yes, you can. <laughs> it's gorgeous. And of course, the garnish. So, all done that. in about 30 minutes here. Nothing, nothing was done ahead of time. You guys can really grasp that. You can access mm -hmm. this recipe, which is very approachable. That's right. On our website, on tastetexastv.com. And then, of course, we'd love for you to follow us on our social media, which is Taste Texas, uh, on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, all those great places. And you can make this for Easter. You, yes, you can. Isn't it awesome? Y'all join us next week for more great recipes for Easter.